Here we go. And we're off. Freddie Grant on the left here. He'll go long ball forward. First one for Matt Williams to clear up, which he does. It'll be an in-swinging corner, and here it comes. And it's met at the far post by Freddie Grant, but it's held by Beecham. Free header as well. Could have done, could have done a bit better with that. Just didn't quite get his forehead on it. Yeah, I mean, right. Sort of hit the top of the head there, Mark. So, anyway, it's uh, early warning sign for Hungerford. Need to settle, get the ball under control. This is Patterson just going across uh, the centre of the pitch on the right-hand side, back inside to Patterson, who tries to clip one middle. Hooked away by James Rusby, but only as far as Mamadou Fafana again, and Oxford City stay on the attack. Look half asleep at the moment, still on the video. They certainly do. Hungerford struggling to get a good foot on the ball. Haven't had a lot of the possession. Oxford City starting the uh, stronger of the two teams in the kind of first six or seven minutes. That's Sinclair flicks on after the poor hunger for free kick but this one's hooked down the left and Richie Whitting gets his foot on the ball to Ian Herring he's under pressure from Sinclair inside the Oxford City half plays it off him and it'll be a throw in but again Hungerford give away another bit of possession after a throw in and this is uh, Fano he's got plenty of space here and he's Oh, it is intercepted there by Rusby. Well defended. He tries to get Reese back in, but Freddie Grant picks it up. He's back in to sing uh, seven. Mika Geekren, and he's just had an effort and it's saved. Another corner for Oxford City, and I think that's Rob Sinclair on the far side who will take it. He's by the entrance to the ground. Knocked in. Yeah! Oh, it's just off the bar there from Matt Patterson. It's a great strike. Mm. He's always rising when he left, left his foot, though. Still on the attack here, and I'm going to try and get it away. It's blocked there by Bignall, but number four, Poku, puts it back in. Herring this time to defend. It still falls for City, and Bignall will just finally get a foot to it, but he's not far away, and here we go. We're starting to get off City. Quick throw out by Stevens. I'll play Chamberlain. He's done a job. He's passed Herring. He's now coming into Hungerford Hart. He looks to cut inside. He'll go back outside. He's got Whittingham again and Stonehouse with him. He puts a ball in, though. The ball. Oh, I'll tell you, something there. That could have been a close call. The ball come in. Did get it away, but it was potential some contact there from Hungerford. The final of Sopoku will pick this up, sorry, but Rusby gets in front of the, the ball. And he's been given a foul there. I'm not sure. Like a good sure. tackle to me. It's a very, very good tackle, in fact. I thought, Intercepted it, looked, the ball. I thought it was late from Rob Sinclair, to be honest. Yeah, quite. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, and he's given the referee's given a free kick here to Oxford City. So I can only think that referee's given it. You know, Rusby does jump in a little bit, but it didn't look dangerous from no, where it was. Nothing high at all. Really. No. Nope. <laughs> referee's asked him to put it down. Interesting position. Freddie Grant gets himself in two places. Well, he's taken a lot of time in teeing this up on, on a wormhole so see if he can get his foot under it four in the wall I think or maybe three Could and it is at the wall and it's gone all the way over for a corner Ian Herring very well there he's now in the centre of the park he's driving forward he's got Matt Williams to beat he does Herring gets back with a good tackle good last is tackling by Ian Herring and again the turn of speed from uh, Oxley Chamberlain is very apparent um that's Nicholas Bignall on the far side. I'm not sure the ref's given a free kick. He has. He has done. Yeah, he took his time. I, I yeah. mean, he was not up for play and he was struggling to see what had happened. But Bignall was fouled there. He won the first header when the ball was cleared. Tried to bring it down for, for a bit of possession and, and he was fouled there by, by Eddie Jones. In comes the ball. It's not a good ball. It's, it does make its way in though. Um, and now out to the wide. Far, far side and James Clark will pick it up he's got Richie Whittenham with him but he fails to pick him out but Whittenham does have to travel back for 30 yards picks the ball up brings it back to Stonehouse Stonehouse back to Whittenham now with some space just inside of the city half as he drives forward he'll now try and find Meekham but again it's a bad ball and it's away and this time McKeekran will break McKeekran still with the ball and that's a foul by Richie Whittenham there this could be a yellow card if the referee fancies it I think yeah, so cynical. Start, starting from behind is a bit cynical. Um, yeah, good call there, Matt. It's a good ball into the area and it's brought down by Patterson. Patterson to McKeegan and Reece Tyler will defend. He'll get it away. Long throw. 
dealt with by Oxford City only as far as Paul Stonehouse in the middle of the pitch. He'll just hook a right footed ball back towards the keeper. He Stephen. Okay. I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's an unusual bit of play. And it's right back to Heron. He doesn't get a good header on it. It's flicked through to uh, the keeper. Yeah. Patterson. Patterson with a strike. Right and right. Right. Great goal. 1 0 there. To be fair, Matt, it's been coming as uh, Oxford City get the first goal of the game on about 30 minutes. That kind of area of the field has been dominated by Oxford City and Patterson turns, unleashes the shot with his right foot and it's sailed into the top right-hand corner. Yeah. It's a really good goal. Um, and I think they're good value for their 1-0. Well, I totally agree with you there, Mark. You know, we can't be disappointed in going a goal down. It's, it's nothing other than they've deserved. Yeah, you can only hope that this wakes uh, Hungford up a little bit as they go straight onto the attack. Throw down line towards Luke Hopper's cut out, um, cleared by Oxford City, then tried to flick on by Matt Patterson, who doesn't manage it. Um, Richie Whittingham will be under pressure here. He'll try and turn, but he's lost his footing. Oh, oh I tell you what. Baku tried to play a ball through there. And there was two of them sat there ready to go, but then neither of them went. I think Meekin on the left-hand side now in possession. Just tries to get a ball in. It's blocked. He's get a second chance. chance. Right foot in, and he goes straight to Stevens. Stevens comfortably lays on that. First sign of a uh, Tom Meekin. Managed to get a cross in after a second attempt. As Fafana tries to play forward, it's cut out by Richie Whittingham, but it falls back to Fafana. He'll play in to Zach McKeekran, who tricky feet will play it through to Rob Sinclair. He's got an eye on goal, left footed shot. Marcus beats him down well to his left and saves pretty comfortably. But again, another good bit of football from Oxford City. And, uh, you know, been pretty impressed so far in the first half. Their uh, form and position doesn't suggest uh, their level of play, that's for sure. Sinclair did well there, actually. Good little run off the shoulder of uh, Brosby, and McKeekran found him, but it was on his. Uh, Left foot was weaker of his two, so he didn't really get a shot away. But um, it was dangerous. Uh, another good chance. It's cleared. Falls out to Matt Williams. Matt Williams now bringing the ball forward. Matt Williams doesn't want to lose out there. Under and he a has bit done. Of pressure from Fana and Faku, and they've got the ball and they're away. I'll say Tanglin now down the right hand side. Matt Williams desperately trying to get back. Williams Won't is running for base. He's coming inside to the box. Comes across the ball and Reese Tyler gets it away. That was six here, just trying to bar. Is that an effort? Is that come on? I think that's Joe. Yeah, crikey. And uh, another big chance for Oxford City. Yeah, yeah, so the corner was put in, the ball got played out from the edge of the area, and Rooster just took a touch and he flicked it up. And on the half volley, I think he hit the post and, uh, and it was called from offside from the rebound. So, on for the escape again. 1 0 here, still to Oxford City. 37 and a half minutes gone, and it is all Oxford City at the moment. Lights have just come on in the media area. Still 1 0 Oxford City. It's a Matt Patterson strike as the corner comes in and it's flicked across the face of goal. Matt Williams is going to head right in and help another corner, I think. Yeah. Oxford City are playing really well compared to Hungerford, but they are very much on the attack. And here they go again. This is Pocket, who's got room to carry over the centre of the pitch. He's got an eye for goal. Oh, he's found Sinclair. Sinclair, Sinclair. Offside. offside, but had a good Great save state. from Beecham as well. But Sinclair was through there. Um, Same area, Matt. Yeah, it's scary. It's defended here by City. City with a long ball for themselves. Reese Tyler fails to clear this. It's locked through. Sinclair's in. Sinclair past Matt Williams. And his left foot, bottom corner. That's 2-0 right at the stroke of half-time. Disappointing for Hungerford Town. 2-0 just before half-time to Oxford City. Austin City straight on the attack again, and McKeegan on the edge of the box. He finds Oxley Chamberlain, Oxley Chamberlain with a shot, blocked, he's back in, and Sinclair turns. 
Sinclair doesn't quite get enough on it, and he's turned the ball, and, and James Clark will get it away. And Humford now on the attack, and it's with Hopper on the right-hand side. Hopper tries to put a ball across, and it's handled there by Freddie Grant, but it's let, allowed the ball to play on. But Hopper's still with it. Finds Bignall back. Hopper, Hopper strikes, and it will be saved there by Jack Stevens. He's about 40 yards out, just on the near side here, so it will be an in-swinging ball into the box. And here it comes. Searching out for... Rosby went up for it, it's fallen down, slow break kick, and it's wide. It's flagged offside, however, Mika with slow break kick. Very, very good connection, but it has wide and above both, sorry. But uh, nevertheless, Lions has got the flag up. Dak now. Into Mika, Mika flicks to Hopper, Hopper flicks to Bignall, Bignall down the left with a great ball in. It's a great attempt in header there from Mika. Yeah, really nice play, and it's picked up here from Hunford. <coughs> In comes the call now from the far side. Flicked. Flicked on from Fleet at the near post. Back in by Meekin. Bignall at the far post. Henry and Stevens keeps it out. It's a good effort uh, from Bignall. There'll be another corner to Hungerford. Um, Richie Whittingham will take it on this near side. Needs to be a quality delivery and it looks a better one. It's up and it's headed away. But Ian Heron will pick this up on the far side now. He'll take one touch and he'll loop it back in. It doesn't get very far. Under pressure, and they're trying to get away! Yeah! Nicholas Bignall turns on a sixpence and he puts that top corner. No chance for four yards. No chance for Stevens there to say that. Fantastic to see Hungerford get back in so soon. Yeah, and this is, uh, it, the press is really told here. Hungerford have come out first for five or ten minutes in the second half and really put the pressure on. Richie Whitton takes it short to Diat John. Diat John back to Whitton. Whitton. Oh! Tries to clip it forward and it'll be dealt with easily enough here from City. But they, that's oh, that's a nasty tackle. It's, it's going to be a yellow card here and it, it's shown for Navarro. Just in Navarro, just caught James Clark. I don't think there was any intent there, Mark. No, but it just did late. Look nasty. Yeah, late and a little bit high. It seemed to uh, get his boot just under the knee of James Clark. I think he was just stretching a bit too yeah, much for the ball, wasn't right. he? And he didn't quite get there and he caught James Clark. In comes the ball. Matt Williams underneath it. Goes high up into the box. It's not Again, it's not dealt with. It's falling down. And still with Reese Tyler. Reese Tyler back to Clark. Clark inside. Back to Williams. Williams, great effort. And this is a great save there by Stephen. Matt Williams, he had his first goal from the town there. Just on the edge of the area. He's absolutely smashed out. That was going goal bound. And it's a great save. And it's another corner here. And it comes in. Good ball again. And it's down. Heron and Heron. the most Stevens with a palm away. And Oxford City will get it away just about, I think. No back to Hungerford Town. Yeah, John, last man at the back. He brings it forward. Out to the right hand side now. Far side with Richie William. Whittingham. He'll come inside here. Onto his left foot. He tries to play it forward. It's fallen. Hopper. Hopper to Big Null. A little bit more atmosphere inside the place now as Hungerford has started to get back into the game. Yeah, finally woken up. It's taken a whole half to do it, but. Hungerford looking a much better side. Clark now out to Reese Tyler. Reese Tyler into the Oxford City half, coming forward. He's now into Hopper. Hopper is the space, turns, shoots with his left, and it's wide. It's unlucky there from Hopper. He didn't quite get enough on it there, Mark. A bit of scrappy play here. Matt Williams will tidy up the ball forward. He's got a great Over ball the forward. Mika, Mika to trace. Scratch he was out. Mika will get there first. Oh. That's Stevens. That looked like a handball to me. That looked like a handball to me. Jack Stevens has come outside his box to intercept the ball. Mika got there first. Tried to loft it over him. Now, it wasn't an intentional handball. It was no hands put up, but it definitely come off the midriff. Um, it would be interesting to see the highlights on that one. But Hunkford's still on the attack here. Mika with the ball again. He puts the ball across. It's fallen Hopper. to Hopper, Hopper turns, and Jack Stevens will pick this up to near post. I don't think their substitution bringing Fafana off has helped them at all. If no, it was me, uh, I think it's, it, it's been an obvious mismatch with two players that have been won. Megan uh, just trying to get on the end of a cross, and he gets his foot to it. He's calling for a corner for a deflection, but however, the referee has signalled for a goal kick, and Jack Stevens will clearly take his time here to get the ball. 73 minutes gone there. Incredible how quick time goes when, when all of a sudden you're in a game. Yeah, true story. <laughs> yeah, first off, felt like an age. Hopper's got Biggs with it. He's through, he's inside, he's onside here. He's going in. Come on, Big Null. In you go. Cuts inside on his right. Shoot. Oh. Stephen saves again. This is over the bar. Corner ball to the town. Big Null's done well there. At least we're creating chances though, Mark. Yeah, because, brilliant stuff. You know, you can have all the pressure in the world like the City did. And, 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 and whilst they scored two goals, they didn't have an awful lot of chances on goal. 
Oxford City really not dealing well with any of these uh, set pieces and oh. corners. And here comes a cross now from Reese Tyler. Oh, Tyler in. Oh, oh crikey. Stevens called for a bit. It's defended there by number two, Eddie Jones. Now for another corner, Brunswick Town. They are in uh, a lot of pressure here in Oxford City. Left footed ball in. Down Full by Hopper. 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 On the turn, Hopper tries to shoot. It's another, another corner, corner ball. All on the far side here. Another corner. The another corner good. comes in. It's attacked. It's away from Freddie Grant for Oxford City, and they're away on the break. Just pulled back there by Reece Tyler. There's a clever power to get away. Get there. Way, but it will be a fucking sure. Yes, it will be. Big kick forward now from Beecher. We've got three on the attack for Hungerford. It comes down, down well, well from Higgler. Bigger on the left. Ooh. Left hand foot shot with his stronger foot, and he's not been able to hit the target there. Three minutes just being indicated here by the assistant referee. Hungerford here, big clearance, hopper up underneath it. And that's it, that is a full time whistle. That was a quick three minutes. The result has ended here. Um, much to the delight of Oxford City in this second half. 2-1 uh, to, uh, to the Greens. Um, a much better display in the second half. We actually we had a good few attempts on goal there and just couldn't couldn't make pay, make one of them pay off to, to get the equaliser. Before we uh, wrap up, remember to check into all the social media channels we're on: Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Um, also check the website. I hope you've enjoyed the broadcast. Um, just leaves me to say goodbye and for Matt to check out as well. And we will catch you next time. Yeah, all the best and take care. Thank you.